On today's show, we're going to talk about science fiction writer Octavia Butler. Stay tuned and learn more. Hey everyone, welcome back to History. I'm your host, Eric Sheffield. Now before we get started with today's video, I just want to ask you guys to quickly like this video, subscribe and share it with your friends and family, and if you guys have any historical figures you want to see us talk about on this channel, please leave a comment down below. Let's get into it. Octavia Butler was born in Pasadena, California in 1947. Now she started writing her very own science fiction stories at the very young age of 10. In a 1986 interview with a publication called The Black Scholar, when Butler was asked about how she started writing science fiction stories, this is what she said. I didn't decide to become a science fiction writer. It just happened. I was writing when I was 10 years old. I was writing my own little stories, and when I was 12, I was watching a bad science fiction movie and decided I could write a better story than that. So I turned off the TV and proceeded to try, and I've been writing science fiction ever since. Butler earned an associate's degree from Pasadena Community College in 1968. Then she went to California State University, and after that, she joined UCLA where she took some writing classes. Now one of the programs that Butler entered into was called the Open Door Workshop of the Screenwriters Guild West, which was a program that was aimed at mentoring minority screenwriters at the time. Now in 1969, while Butler was in this mentoring program, this is where she met Harlan Ellison, who was already an established author at the time. Here are some of the books that Ellison already had published at the time. Rumble, 1958, the Man with Nine Lives, 1960, Rockabilly in 1961, Doomsman in 1967, A Boy and His Dog in 1969. That was later adapted into a feature film. Ellison encouraged Butler to join the Clarion Science Fiction Writers Workshop in 1970. This is where Butler published her first short story called Crossover that appeared in the Clarion Anthology in 1971 followed by her first novel in 1976 called Pattern Master, which was book one of a five book series she called the Paternus series. Now in 1979, Butler published a book called Kindred. Now Kindred is about this young African American woman in 1976 that has sporadic episodes of traveling back in time to the pre-Civil War South where she would meet some of her ancestors. This book sold so well that it allowed her to write full time. One of the things that made Butler's science fiction stories stand out so much is because at the time there were not a lot of stories that were told from an African American female's point of view. Now we're going to talk about some of the awards Octavia Butler received for some of her novels and short stories. In 1980 she received a Creative Arts Award. In 1984 she received a Hugo Award for Best Short Story for Speech Sounds. In 1985, Butler's book, Bloodchild, received three awards. They were the Science Fiction Chronicle Award, the Locus Award, and the Hugo Award for Best Novel. In 1995, she received the MacArthur Foundation Genius Grant. In 1999, the Nebula Award for Best Novel, Parable of the Talents. In 2000, she received the Pen American Center Lifetime Achievement Award in Writing. In 2010, she was inducted into the Science Fiction Hall of Fame. And in 2012, she received the Solstice Award for Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America. Octavia Butler's work in the science fiction genre continues to inspire other artists to this day. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of History. Did you all learn something new about Octavia Butler? If you did, please leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. And if there are any other historical figures you want us to discuss on this show, again, please leave a comment down below. We'll see you guys next time.